be here with you and thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, my question is your take on the 15-minute cities and what the real aim of the green agenda is really about. Okay, so first of all, um, I call it 15-minute ghettos because that's what they are. Um, as I had just said, um, it's, it's really not about, you know, making our lives easier. It, it has nothing to do with any of that. It's about uh, getting you under control. It's about possibly locking you up. In Great Britain, they already introduced legislation in a province. Um, they are speaking of climate lockdowns. Um, and the people are being told, we, we are doing this to make your lives easier, and we have to save the planet. Obviously, we have to save the planet, right? It has nothing to do with that. Um, it is pretty much... Um, yeah, taking individual mobility away from people, you know, get them on, you know, bikes or whatever. So, um, and that is actually what they saw during this COVID madness when they were uh, having these lockdowns. Well, they couldn't really lock people down, right? Yeah. Because um, they would have had to ensure that people could go grocery shopping. And you don't have grocery stores, you know, within a 15 minute uh, radius kind of thing. So yeah, they realized that that's what this whole thing with this 15 minute ghettos is all about. They need to first you need to make sure that you might have everything you could possibly need, and then they, they, there is nothing to stop them from locking you down. What are people going to say? We're going to starve to death? I mean, once again, look to China. Yeah, this is, this is going to be our future. And once again, not 30, 40, 50 years. Now we're talking now. And the aim of the green agenda? What do you think that that's all about? Well, the green agenda is just part of, you know, that overall agenda, which is to erect a totalitarian regime in which people are under complete control. Um, that actually what it does, the, the green deal, the so-called green deal, it will impoverish people. Um, we have seen that, you know, people are barely capable of keeping up with their bills anymore. And energy prices, they, I mean, they're skyrocketing. Sky, skyrocketing. Uh, in Germany, you know, the idiot German government, they literally they shut off the, the, the last of our nuclear power plants and they're dreaming about, you know, all these windmills generating enough electricity for a Germany, who is, you know, industrial nation, seriously, well, what happens if the sun is not shining and the wind's not blowing? Where is the energy coming from? Guess what? It's coming from France, from Poland, from whoever. Well, nuclear power plants, which, by the way, uh, are not operating uh, to the highest standard of, of safety. That was actually the case in Germany. But we shut them down because on the other end of the planet, the, years ago, there was you know a natural c catastrophe happening, which could never happen in Germany. But um, this natural c catastrophe at the other end of the world destroyed only one nuclear power plant uh, there in Japan, but it destroyed all nuclear power plants in Germany. And it's just idiotic. Yeah, so my last question is just, you know, speaking up like you do and, and uh, going against the mainstream agenda, are you ever scared that they're going to try to remove you from the position that you have and that's so very needed for all of us around the world? Well, once you start being afraid or once you, once you uh, start showing that, that you are in fear, you have lost. So, I mean, they can do whatever they want to me. They can threaten me, you know, well and remove me, well then go ahead and do it. But I will not back down and I will not give in into that fear that you are trying to instill in me because it's not